I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Mars has two speeds of sound, extraordinary W boson particle finding contradicts the understanding of how the universe works and anti-tank guided missile Helena successfully flight tested. So let's take a look at story number one. On Mars, the speed of sound depends on its pitch. All sound travels slower through Mars air compared with Earth's. But the higher pitched clacks of a laser zapping rocks travel slightly faster in the thin Martian atmosphere than the lower pitched hum of the Ingenuity helicopter. Researchers reported in April 1st issue of the journal Nature. These sound speed measurements from NASA's Perseverance rover are part of a broader effort to monitor minute by minute changes in the atmospheric pressure and temperature like during wind gusts on the red planet. To listen to the wind, Perseverance carries two microphones. One was meant to record audio during the mission's complex entry, descent and landing and while it didn't work as hoped, it is now turned on occasionally to listen to the rover's vitals. The other microphone is a part of the rover's super cam instrument, a mast mounted mishmash of cameras and other sensors used to understand the properties of materials on the planet's surface. These microphones also pick up other sounds such as those made by the rover itself as its wheels crunch the surface and by Perseverance flying companion, the robotic helicopter Ingenuity. The microphone on the super cam captures sounds from those laser shots which helps researchers learn about the hardness of the target material, says planetary scientist Naomi Murdoch of the Institute uh, in Toulouse, France. The team reports that the speed of this sound is about 250 meters per second. That's slower than on the Earth, where sound travels through the air at about 340 meters per second. The slower speed isn't surprising. What we hear as sound is actually pressure waves traveling through a medium like air and the speed of those waves depends on the medium's density and composition. And with that, let's take a look at story number two. After a decade of meticulous measurement, scientists have announced that a fundamental particle, the W boson, has a significantly greater mass than theorized, shaking the foundations of our understanding of how the universe works. Those foundations are grounded by the standard model of particle physics, which is the best theory scientists have to describe the most basic building blocks of the universe and what forces govern them. The W boson is an electrically charged fundamental particle that governs what is called the weak force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature and therefore a pillar of the standard model. However, the most precise measurement ever of the W boson directly contradicts the rules of standard model according to a new study published in science journal Ashutosh Kotwal, a physicist at the Duke University who led the study said that the result had taken more than 400 scientists over 10 years to record and scrutinize a data set of around 450 trillion collisions. These collisions made by smashing the particles together at a mind-bending speed to study them were made by Tevatron Collider in the US state of Illinois. And with that, let's take a look at story number three. Well, an anti-tank guided missile Helena was successfully launched from an indigenously developed helicopter at high altitude ranges on April 11, 2022 as part of user validation trials. The flight test was jointly conducted by the teams of scientists from Defence Research and Development Organisation, the Indian Army, the Indian Air Force. The flight trials were conducted from an advanced light helicopter and the missile was fired successfully engaging simulated tank targets. The missile is guided by an imaging infrared seeker operating in the lock-on before launch mode. It is one of the most advanced anti-tank weapons in the world. In continuation to validation trials conducted at Pokhran in Rajasthan, proof of efficacy at high altitudes paves the way for its integration on the ALH. Raksha Mantri Sri Rajanath Singh congratulated DRDO and the Indian Army for the maiden achievement through joint work. 
Secretary, Department of Defense, R&D and Chairman, DRDO, Dr. G. Satish Reddy congratulated the teams for the commendable job performed by in difficult conditions. And with this, we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more exciting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science. Keep watching. Namaskar.